Hello everyone, this is One Stupid Gamer, and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. Last time, we went back into the palace, Ryuji gained a persona, and we gained some evidence against Kamashita. This time, we're gonna use that evidence against him and try to get him arrested once and for all. But first, some sleep. That thingy now on your phone was some red eyeball icon, right? Right. We ended up at that weird place when we used the nav app, right? I found it on my phone, too. I don't even remember installing it. That, that's creepy. For real, what is this thing? I think it's being downloaded on its own somehow? It's dangerous to use something without knowing what it is. But with it, we can go to that weird place, right? Seems like it. Basically, it's gonna depend on how we use it. But first, we gotta find some evidence for the beatings. I'm counting on you, alright? Don't go ditching school on me. I feel exhausted. Maybe it's because of the metaverse. Welcome to the Velvet Room. I thought about resuming our previous conversation tonight. That is why I have summoned you. What are your thoughts? Are you becoming accustomed to this place? Yeah. Ah, glad to hear it. It seems you have nerves of steel. The goal of your rehabilitation is to thwart the fated ruin. However, such a feat cannot be done by you alone. Today, you entered a partnership with someone who awoke to the same power. Did you not? You mean Ryuji? Involving yourself with others is an important foundation for your recovery. You've done well. That said, I am not advising the formation of superficial relationships. It must not be a frivolity, but a ring of those who would, by morals or faith, lend you their strength. In other words, they are bonds with those who have been robbed of their places to belong. The expansion of said ring will, in return, help you mature as well. Personas are the strength of heart. The stronger the bonds that surround you, the more power your personas will gain. There are countless people in the city who have talents that a weakling like you doesn't. You better rack that noggin of yours and get them on your side. We'll change that into power. Confidants are people you trust who share a similar goal. You can find these people in places like school or around town. Try forming bonds with people by visiting them multiple times, earning their trust, and provide improving your value. Once you have formed a bond, you can open the menu with Y and select Confidant to check the strength of your relationships. Indeed, you should be prepared to use even myself, or your ambitions will not come to fruition. <laughs> we have a deal then. It seems like Igor has high expectations of me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the fool persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. We have obtained the full confidant. So confident confidants have many different uses. One, you can see, gives you abilities. So, Igor has given us the ability of Wild Talk. It allows you to negotiate with shadows after performing a holdup. And Arcana Burst. Earn bonus experience when fusing personas based on their Arcana's confidant rank. All right. People you form a bond with have special confidant abilities. Your confidant rank indicates the strength of your trust with someone. As this rank increases, more of your confidant abilities will be unlocked. Press Y to open the menu, then select Confidant. From there, you can check each confidant's arcana rank and abilities. There are a lot of confidants in this game. Some of them have more useful abilities than others. 
and because of how limited our time is in this playthrough, I unfortunately won't be able to get them all. But I will be going after the ones with the most useful abilities, and I will be telling you which ones I will be going for when I meet them. For example, Ryuji. Ryuji has a lot of good abilities. I will go over them at a later time, but I will definitely be working hard on Ryuji. He's a pretty easy confidant anyway, so it'd be weird not to go for him. Well, you will understand it all in due time. Continue devoting yourself to your rehabilitation. Now this conversation's over. Get lost, inmate. Annoying. We've barely started high school and already they're making us play at a volleyball rally? And why are they pitting us against the teacher team? Kamoshida's gonna crush us. We get to see his technique live and in person, though. We should totally get spiked on. Yeah, okay. You're gonna get your face smashed in. Just look at how banged up the volleyball team is. What the hell goes on during their practices? Okay, quiet down. Okay, listen up everyone. As you know, all know, today is the volleyball rally. Head to the gymnasium once you change, got it? Sorry. Hey, are you all right? Someone, take him to the nurse's office. You get that song. He'll pay soon enough. All right, let's resume the match. That asshole's acting like a king over here, too. Get to know each other better, my ass. It's just a one-man show for him to stroke his ego. Oh, oh, and how he acted like he was worried about Mishima. What an abusive D-bag. <clears throat> well, anyways, now is our chance to go look for the guys we saw were slaves yesterday. Let's look for the faces we saw at the castle. All the members of the team should be here today. I'll be sure to find someone to spill about Kamoshida's physical abuse. Just you wait, asshole. Where are you searching? The first one that popped out was a guy from Class D. So let's start from there. That's your class. Hopefully you can get him to talk without any issues. People have been avoiding me lately, so... Oh, but you're kind of in the same boat, huh? You can use quick travel by bringing up the map with RB and selecting the location you want to move to. I love this feature. I can go straight from the classroom with the push of a button. Mm. What? Are you skipping out on the volleyball rally? I guess I expect it from you, Transfer. Hey, that's the guy who was over at that castle. You too, Sakamoto? What do you guys want? How'd you get injured? It's from practice. What does that have to do with anything? Kamoshida did it to you, right? Look, I ain't gonna tell anyone you squealed. Just tell us about how Kamoshida's abusing you. I... 
I don't know what you're talking about. You're a coward. I'm not. You guys are talking complete nonsense. Don't try and hide it. We already know. You know? You have proof. Well, uh, I... This is ridiculous. Please, leave me alone. You're really bothering me. <sighs> All right, that's enough. Come on, let's go. That injury ain't normal, and she still won't fess up. Ah, crap. If we keep going at this pace, the ball game's gonna end. Let's split up. I guess that'd be faster. I'll check the practice building for people before clubs start. You handle the classroom building. There's a third year on the volleyball team that I remember. I think he's in... 3C? He was getting beat pretty badly at the castle. I might have some injuries here, too. Anyways, I'll hit you up if I find anything. See ya. Alright. 3C. Don't be fooled, by the way. 3C is actually on the first floor. On my first playthrough, I went to dirt floor trying to find 3C. Oh, he's actually here. Man, cleaning up after the volleyball rally is gonna be such a pain. Eh, what do you want? You got something to say? How'd you get hurt? Uh... It's for practice. Hey, I know who this guy is. He's that transfer student who's been hanging out with Sakamoto. Oh, I get it. You're trying to stay by Mr. Kamashita, right? Look, our volleyball team performs at a national level. Of course our practices are going to be tough. Mr. Kamashita is just dedicated to training us. Don't believe everything Sakamoto says. You sure it's not abuse? Uh-huh, sure. Uh, as if. Hey, we should stop talking to him. What if he loses it and starts attacking us? I heard he carries a knife around. Who knows what he's capable of? How's it going? He refused. Him too? Man, everyone's too freaked out about Kamashita. But I got a lead. A first year. New member. He just joined, so he might not be all wrapped up in Kamashita's web of bullshit yet. Go ask around with the first year. See if you can find him. You can view messages you have received by pressing X. An icon will appear on any unread messages. Only the 50 most recent chat threads will be saved. Old chats will be automatically deleted, so don't forget to read them. Yeah, press X at any time to see your chats. Nothing more complicated than that. Well, since he's a first year, your first clue would actually be to go to the third floor. Because the floors are divided by grades. I kind of wish more schools did this. My, my high school did. Huh? Yeah, I'm on the volleyball team. What do you want? What are those injuries? Uh oh, knees? Uh, it happened during practice. I mean, everyone's on the team's got injuries like this. Mishima Senpai has it especially bad, though. He's got to deal with Mr. Kamashita's special coaching. Uh, oh, uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. Mishima? I can't do it. Oh, please, don't stop. Just stop talking to me. Ask someone else if you want to know anything more. Attention. Attention. All matches have concluded. Please get ready to go home for today. We're out of time. How'd it go? No good. So you didn't have any luck either. Okay, let's regroup for now. See you in the courtyard. Can I talk to you for a sec? What is it? It'll be quick. Anyway, what's with you? Like how you were late the other day was a lie and all? There's that weird rumor about you too. What do you want with him? Right back at you. You're not even in our class. We just happen to get to know each other. What are you planning on doing to Mr. Kamoshida? Huh? I see. I get ya. You're all buddy-buddy with Kamoshida after all. This has nothing to do with you, Sakamoto. If you found out what he's been doing behind your back, you'd dump him right away. Behind my back? What's that supposed to mean? You wouldn't get it. Anyway, people are already talking about you two. I don't know what you're trying to pull, but no one's gonna help you. I'm warning you, just in case. That's all. Why she gotta be so aggressive all the time? You know her? 
how we just went to the same middle school. Anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. I had no luck on my end. What about you? Did anything like someone's name turn up? Mishima. Huh? Special coaching, huh? True. I always see the guy covered in bruises. Let's go talk to him before he leaves then. Hey, got a second? Sakamoto? And you too. Come on, we just want to chat. Kamoshida's been coaching you, huh? You sure it's not just physical abuse? Certainly not. What are you talking all polite for? Anyways, we saw him spike you today. Right in the face. That was just because I'm not good at the sport. Still, that doesn't explain all the other bruises you've got. They're from practice. Is he forcing you to keep quiet? That's... What's going on here? Mishima, isn't it time for practice? Uh, I'm not feeling well today. What? Maybe you're better off quitting then. You're never going to improve that crappy form unless you show up to practice. Didn't you hear? He ain't feeling well. Well, Mishima, are you coming to practice or not? I'll go. As for you, any more trouble and you'll be gone from this school for sure. Bastard. Same goes for you. Didn't the principal tell you to keep in line? You have an amazing spike. <laughs> Just don't get in the way of my practice. All these unsettling rumors are making the students anxious after all. That's your own goddamn fault. <laughs> this won't get us anywhere. Let's go, Mishima. Shujin Academy is a place where those with aspirations come to learn. Unworthy students like yourselves don't have any right to be here. Get with the program. Yes, sir. That asshole. He's gonna pay for this. There's no point. Huh? Proving that he's physically abusing us is meaningless. Everybody knows. Principal, our parents. They all know, and they all keep quiet about it. This has got to be a joke. Don't be a pain. You don't understand what I'm going through. Shouldn't you of all people know that nothing's going to help? <sighs> Damn it. What now? I'll try one more time to persuade the other guys. That's all I can do. know about the abuse. Why ain't anybody speaking up? Because volleyball. Yeah, it's basically because Kamashita made the volleyball team famous, yeah? Even so, that doesn't give him the right to do whatever he wants. He's beating kids up, and all they're allowed to do is endure. That follower of his doesn't give one single shit. What follower? On to Kamaki. You met her in the courtyard, remember? You should know, dude. I mean, she's in your class, dude. Ugh, what a load of bull. You can't let it end like this. I'm gonna try and find someone who knows about what's going on with Kamashita during the break tomorrow. Just you watch. I ain't giving up. I beat from running around all day. play yesterday? He was so awesome. I think I might ask for his autograph after school. I don't know if that's such a good idea. I hear you shouldn't go near the PE faculty office. People say you can hear weird sounds like screaming even though no one's there. What? That's probably a rumor spread by fans to scare the competition. Witnesses. I was wondering if we could get something out to Kamaki. She's not 
on the team. Just hear me out. You know how we didn't get a thing out of the volleyball team? I figured it's a good idea to talk to someone who knows them. Takamaki's BFFs with a starter, a girl named Suzui. I tried to talk to that girl during break, but I got nothing. That's why we should have Takamaki talk to her. Then again, I guess it'll be hard getting her to help us. Sorry, let me see what else I can come up with. Shouldn't you be heading to volleyball? Uh-huh. That bruise above your eye. Is that from practice, too? Y yeah Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. Volleyball's the only thing I can do right. Shouldn't you take that? It's probably just my part-time job, I think. I should get going. Shiho. Um, are you sure you're okay? Uh-huh. Yes. T today won't work. I'm... I'm not feeling so good. Sorry. Bye. Hey, wasn't that Takamaki? Rumor has it she's dating Kamoshida. Seriously? I heard people saw them in his car together. You know, she seems pretty easy, huh? You think I'd have a chance to? Come on, dude. You can't go after Kamashita's bitch. <sighs> what? Uh, oh, I'm in the way, aren't I? Sorry. Don't worry about it. I really am sorry, though. I must have spaced out. Hmm. You don't look familiar. Could you be that transfer student from Class D? Um, this might not be any of my business, but don't let the rumors get to you, okay? Yeah. Good. That would be for the best. My best friend is often misunderstood, too. All because of her looks. Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to drag on like that. Anyway, I have to go to practice. I'll see you around. like all of them kept saying the same shit Mishima was talking about Kamoshida had to have told them something at this rate looks like we'll have to go to him directly we should have started with that I know but seriously isn't there something we can do no way I'm gonna give in like this can you think of anything we should call the cops so you want to tell them about the castle they never believe us. <sighs> Have any other ideas? How about a sneak attack? Oh, that'd be fine if we could do it without getting caught, but if we did, we'd be seriously done for. You got any other ideas? What do we do? Let's punish the king. The king? You mean that other world's Kamoshida? I didn't think of that, but is there any meaning to... I finally found you! You say something? Don't think you can get away with not paying me back for helping you. That voice... Is that you, Morgana? How dare you up and leaving me the other day! The cat's talking? I am NOT a cat! This is just what happened when I came to this world. It was a lot of trouble finding you two. Wait, you came to our world? <gasps> Does that mean you've got a phone? You don't need one when you're at my level. I did get pretty lost making my escape, though. That aside, why can you talk? You're a cat! How should I know? You hearing this, too? Meow? This is no time to be joking around! You guys are having a rough time of this, hmm? I heard you mention something about witnesses. Oh, shut up! 
You know, I could tell you a thing or two about what to do about Kamashita. You were pretty close just a moment ago. God, that condescending attitude. This thing's gotta be Morgana. You were still doubting me? God, quiet down! Uh, we really have to be looking for a cat in a busy time like this? I just heard a meow somewhere near here. Didn't you hear it? Uh, make sure you check every nook and cranny around. Meow? Does that mean only us two can understand what you're saying? Looks like it. What the hell's going on? Anyways, what you were talking about earlier, is it for real? You're quite the skeptic for being an idiot. Hey, tell us more. Then again, this probably ain't the best place. Here, stick it in your bag for now. It should be just small enough to fit. Hey, how dare you treat me like... Don't be so rough with me. Enough of that. You said you know how we can do something about Kamoshida, right? It has to do with what this guy was talking about earlier. You'll need to attack his castle. What do you mean? That castle is how Kamoshida views this school. He doesn't realize what happens in there, but it's deeply connected to the depths of his heart. Thus, if the castle disappears, it would naturally impact the real Kamoshida. What had happened? A palace is a manifestation of a person's distorted desires. So, if that castle were no more... His desires would go too. Precisely. You sure pick up things fast. For real? He he's gonna turn good? But is that really getting back at him? Erasing a palace essentially means forcing the owner to have a change of heart. However, even though their warped wants disappear, the crimes they committed remain. Kamoshida will become unable to bear the weight of those crimes. And he'll confess them himself. You for real? That's possible? And since the palace will no longer exist, he'll forget what we did there as well. Not only will we be able to bring Kamoshida down, but there won't even be a trace of our involvement. That's amazing! You are one incredible cat! True. Except for the cat part. So, how do we get rid of the palace? By stealing the treasure held within. Stealing? I'll tell you more once you agree to go ahead with this. It's my most valuable secret plan, after all. If you want to help me out, I'll gladly teach you. What's your call? Our luck's running dry looking for witnesses. Guess we have no choice but to go along. You're right. Good. Oh, right. There's one more thing I should tell you. If we erase a palace, there is no doubt that the person's distorted desires will be erased as well. But desires are what we all need in order to survive. The will to sleep, eat, fall in love. Those sorts of things. What are you getting at? If all of those yearnings were to vanish, they'd be no different than someone who is shut down entirely. They may even die if they're not given proper care. So... They might die! Will you listen to everything I have to say first? Would their death be our fault? Aren't you determined enough to face those kinds of risks? Hey, what do you think? I don't want to kill him. No, of course not. Sheesh. I come all this way and this is what I get. It's not like anyone will ever find out. That's not the point. If we just go around secretly doing whatever we want, we'd be no better than that effing Kamoshida. <sighs> Isn't this your only option? I'll come back later. Make sure you've made your decision by then. Man, we're getting all worked up for nothing. Damn it. I'll try and see if I can figure out another way. Come on, let's get out of here. Yo, some of the guys in my class have been talking about that Suzui girl. Looks like rumors are going around her in Kamoshida. If they're true, it's no wonder I couldn't get her to talk. Still, something about that doesn't seem right. What do you mean? It's just impossible. I've known Takamaki and Suzui since middle school. 
There's no, there's just no way Kamashita's their type, you know? So, I gotta wonder where these rumors came from. I guess we'll get to it tomorrow. See ya. Wonder what the other students are saying. I should listen in as I go home. to it. Wait, what? That's not what you promised. And you call yourself a teacher? This has nothing to do with Shiho. Uh, <sighs> Shiho's starting position. Wait. Are you listening? It's not on purpose. <sighs> Haven't you heard of privacy? <sighs> no, I was out of line. Sorry. So, how much did you hear? Something about a friend. Shio. It's nothing at all. Nothing. about me <laughs> let's go somewhere safe what the heck i really don't get you i don't have anything to talk about with you it was just an argument with kamashita it seems like she's really stressed out thank you very much You've heard the rumors, haven't you? About Mr. Kamoshida. Everyone says we're getting it on. But that's so not true. <clears throat> now is him on the other line. I avoided giving him my number for the longest time. He told me to go to his place after this. You know what it means. I turn him down, he said he'd take my friend off as a regular on the team. I've been telling myself this is all for Shiho's sake. I can't take it anymore. Uh, uh. I've had enough of this. I hate him. But still, Shiho's my best friend. She's all I have left of that sorry excuse of a school. Tell me, what should I do? I shouldn't have asked. It's not your problem. <laughs> what? What am I saying? I barely even talked to you before. It's fine. Huh? so weird. Usually everyone just ignores me. Are you really a bad person? I've heard people talking about you, but I just don't see it. I'm bad to the bone. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a joke? Kind of had a feeling they were all just exaggerations. 
You seemed lonely. Almost like you didn't belong anywhere. You're the same in that regard. Maybe that's why it was so easy for me to talk to you. Is there really no way for me to help Shio? I wish he'd just change his mind. Like, forget about me and everything. As if something like that would ever happen. That's too convenient. <laughs> I wasn't asking for a serious response. But I do feel a bit better now. I'm gonna head home. Don't tell anyone what I told you, okay? I'll try and think of a way to persuade Kamoshida. Well, thanks. Suzui, are you leaving? What is it? Mr. Kamoshida's asking for you. He's in the PE faculty office. What did he say? I don't know. Well, I have to go. <laughs> On. You're late. Where have you been? Trains are. I got lost. Is that supposed to be an excuse? How directionally challenged can you be? By the way, you haven't been hanging around any bad influences, have you? I actually made a friend. Huh. Well, they've got to be pretty strange to want to spend time with you. Just make sure you're careful who your friends are, if you don't want them ruining your life. Ooh. Look at the time. Seriously, think about how I feel having to stay up here waiting for you. Hey, I'm leaving. In the future, try not to come back so damn late. Understood? So, what do you think about what Mugana told us? I don't know if I get all the stuff about stealing desires. Kamshida's gonna turn like brain dead if we mess up, right? I I mean sure I'm pissed at him, but I don't know if I really want to kill the guy. Yeah, that's too that's too much. For sure. I mean, maybe I'm just freaking out, but I don't want to end up a murderer because of this shit. Oh well. I'll try and see if I can come up with some other way tonight. Stealing Kamashita's disordered desires, can we really do it? Anyway, I should get some sleep. I can't believe Suzui Senpai missed such an important meeting. I wonder what happened. Mr. Kamashita asked to see her. I heard rumors about how the two of them stay late together. Wonder what's going on? You don't think they're. Nah, it couldn't be. Man, it's been nothing but bad news lately. I'm worried about the future. Oh, that reminds me. Apparently a guest is coming to school today. Some young guy, I think. Oh, tell me more. So I assume all of you know about the separation of powers. There are three branches in our government. The National Diet is legislative, the Cabinet is executive, and the Supreme Court is judiciary. This division of power provides checks and balances, which ensures no one branch becomes unstoppable. Have you made up your mind? No matter how much thinking you do, there's only one option. You'd be better off just listening to me. Don't talk! Hmm, did I just hear a cat just now? Could that rumored cat be somewhere nearby? Settle down! We're in the middle of an important lecture. It's no use. I can't think of any other way. Concentrate on class. I can't deal with that shit right now. I mean, what are we gonna do about Kamashita? We gotta go along with what that cat 
faces. Ugh, that damn furball. If you only knew, I'm reading this too. Hey, what's that? Enough! This is a classroom! Wait, she's going to jump! Suzui? Shiho? For real? Come Who on, let's go. Hey, stay in your seats! Do not step foot outside of this room. No way! Huh? Is she gonna commit suicide? It's Suzui! Seriously? Shio Suzui! Huh? Suzui-san? Hey, 